Okay, thank you again for joining us, everyone. It's the one burner bachelor, 37 steps up high above the city on another beautiful summer night. Angelo's right here sitting on his couch. A little bit of a breeze out there, taking in some of the action going on right now. And our favorite saute pan on the one burner is some Imperial Margarine just melting away in there. We've already steamed some water out of the pan to make sure we're extra safe. And what we're going to add right now, I'm going to use something today I haven't used yet, along with some things that I have. But going in here right now with our Imperial Margarine is a can of sliced potatoes. Something I haven't used yet. But sometimes the starch you need is potatoes. It's not hash browns, it's not rice, it's not pasta. Sometimes you just feel like some potatoes. And there are a lot of prep work and a lot to do. And without an oven, you kind of need to use them and grab them as you can. And I kind of think the can of sliced mushrooms, which I did mix, rinse also, along with the potatoes, kind of have the same texture as those potatoes. So I'm on about three quarters heat. I'm going to let those just start to get happy in the pan together. Some sliced potatoes and some sliced mushrooms, not pieces and stems, but sliced mushrooms, the good stuff. And uh, we're not going to season them with salt and pepper or anything yet because we've got some other things we're going to season them with along the way. And then we'll decide in the end what else we need to season them with. All right. It's a beautiful evening. We're just getting started with some sliced potatoes for the first time and some sliced mushrooms in the pan together. Hopefully they're going to start browning up and doing their thing. I'm going to actually turn the heat up a little bit higher to get things moving. Okay, the One Burner Bachelor. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Get a look, everyone. Of course, I wish you could get a smell. My potatoes and my mushrooms, I've kind of spread out to the edges. They've softened up the liquid from them, which I did not add any extra liquid because I knew there was liquid from the potatoes and the mushrooms. has now mixed around nice with the butter margarine imperial that we added to the pan and when I think of mushrooms and potatoes I then think of beef so this is beef beef smoked sausage from Hillshire Farm that I'm adding not in small chunks not cut the long way but in six good size let's mow surrounded by the potatoes and the mushrooms for now. So now the liquid that is missing from the potatoes and mushrooms because they've sauteed away and steamed away and cooked away adding flavor is now going to be rejuvenated by the moisture that is going to come from the skin and from these beef smoked sausage. So we're going to let this do its thing for now. We are not finished adding. Uh, my potatoes were electric can opener. Angelo took care of that for us before the show. And the mushrooms were pull tab, which I took care of. The other extra couple ingredients that are going to go in this were both electric can opener. Fortunately for me, before Angelo did just disappear to go outside and play, he got those open for me also. Okay, we'll be back, everyone. So, so far, beef smoked Hillshire Farm sausage sliced potatoes rinsed sliced mushrooms rinsed with some imperial margarine doing their thing in the one burner saute pan on the one burner bachelor thanks everyone we'll be back oh yes we're back four minutes in the smell again is taking over our beef smoked sausage our can of sliced potatoes and sliced mushrooms and now the potatoes and the mushrooms are beginning to thicken a little bit. The moisture is gone. They're starting to tenderize and they're starting to do their thing, what we wanted them to do as mushrooms and potatoes. So to add some more of our flavor, some more of our juice, some color in one of our favorites, sure enough, right here, the whole can. Original diced tomatoes with green chilies from Clover Valley. Another electric can opener job, which Angelo took care of for me. With my help a little bit, but together we got it done. So now, that gets spicy tomatoes, sliced potatoes, sliced mushrooms, and beef 
beef smoked sausage all in here with colors and flavors and textures all doing their thing. Angelo just popped back in. It must have smelled so good he decided to jump back in. Or well, somebody spooked him outside, but he's back in for a minute. So we're going to let these continue to do their thing. We do have another ingredient to add if we decide to, but that's the great thing about being in charge and doing this by ourselves, that we kind of add what we need to and what we want to and what we think is a good idea. So, smells great, looks great, things are getting there. Angelo's hanging for a bit. We'll be right back. Thanks, everyone. Okay, we're back to finish up. Angelo's perched on his top step here, 37 steps up high above the city. Oh, it's beautiful out. It smells great in here. We're just finishing up. We've got our beef smoked sausage, our sliced potatoes, our sliced mushrooms, our original diced tomatoes with green chilies. And if you notice, we had that big piece of beef smoked sausage. We cut it into six. We've now halved all of those sixes, and we're now looking at 12 pieces. I just got a message that we're going to have some people joining us, so we need to stretch this out further if we can, which we can. And this needs a little more color, and it needs a vegetable, because the starch from the potatoes is now starching and taking up, clogging up some things as far as juicy goes. The beef smoked sausage is totally awesome doing its thing. The tomatoes, the mushrooms. So what we're going to add is one of my favorites when it comes to a vegetable. French style green beans. There's a can right there. Clover Valley. That was probably somewhere around 80 cents. Yikes. Let me grab my, here's my, another set of my new tongs right here. I'm not sure where my small ones went. But I'm just going to incorporate that now. Oh. And, of course, they're already cooked. All they need to do is get the temperature. But they're now going to add texture and flavor and some color. So we've now got beef smoked sausage, sliced potatoes, sliced mushrooms, French-style green beans, and a can of original diced tomatoes with green chilies. Oh, those are all going to simmer away now and get all together in a really, really nice casserole, I guess, or some dish on that buffet table tonight that I hope many, many people get a little bit of and ask about what it is and want to try it. Um, you know what? We're not going to cut out quite yet. We're going to let this simmer for a little bit. It looks so nice. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll be back. So one burner bachelor. This is going to be another really good one. You just never know sometimes when you're kind of making it up as you go along or adding what you need or seasoning and flavoring and tasting as you go. That's the way to do it. Okay, everyone, we'll be back to finish up the One Burner Bachelor on another beautiful night. 37 steps up, high above the city. Okay, we're back, everyone. Last 30 seconds or so, time to finish up. Angelo's still hanging right there on his top step, 37 steps up high above the city. It's beautiful out. It's the one burner bachelor. Okay, all done in the pan now are our French style green beans, our beef smoked sausage, our sliced mushrooms, our sliced potatoes, our diced tomatoes with green chilies. And we're just going to let all that happen and simmer now. I'm going to package some up. Oh, yikes, it smells great. Um, thanks, everyone. I thought I had something I was going to kind of wrap up with when I came back, and I just kind of forgot what I was talking about. But, oh, maybe thank you for viewing. Please share. Please subscribe. If you're on Facebook and you can let anyone know that you think this is cool and want anybody to watch, and maybe that friend will tell two friends and so on and so on and so on. And maybe this will continue to get crazy, stay crazy, and maybe get more crazy. And um, the One Burner Bachelor might really turn into something. Okay. Thanks again, everyone. smell a vision Sorry, can't help you yet. See you next time. 37 steps up, high above the city. Oh, let's get one more last shot of that. Thanks, everyone.
We'll see you next time.